Good morning everybody. Today's video is a review of the Eagle IFAC by North American Rescue. All right, so today's review is on the North American Rescue Eagle IFAC. This is a slimline individual first aid kit um, that comes in a couple different variations. The kit I have in front of you is the BLS version, which retails for about $100 um, if you're just buying it as a civilian or if you're a law enforcement, military, uh, paramedic, or government employee, you can get this kit for about $70 if you apply for their discount program online. The ALS kit will run you about $160 retail and then comes down to about $120 to $130 from their website if with the discount. So on the front of this pack, you've got two heavy-duty zippers and you've got a Velcro swath in the front to put your identification patches on. On the back, you've got two uh, straps for to secure this tamale webbing and then you have two belt loops to mount it either low on your uh, duty belt or high on it. Uh, kind of a nice option to have. The only downside to this is you can't mount this horizontally on your kit, uh, which would be nice to reduce some of the form factor of it going straight up and down, but honestly, I haven't that, had that big of an issue with it. So to open this up, it has a pull tab up top that will open both zippers simultaneously while it's secured to something. Because I'm just holding it, it's kind of hard to do, so we'll just open it by unzipping the two zippers. The front pocket falls away, revealing all your content. And then the really nice thing about this kit is that this pull tab allows you to separate the center console from uh, the rest of the kit. So if this is mounted behind you, you can pull all your tools into your field of view so you're not blindly reaching behind you to try to get your tourniquet or your bandaging. Moving that aside, we've got the cat tourniquet up top. Great tourniquet, pretty much the standard, comes with a lot of kits. I prefer this over pretty much any other product on the market. You've got a set of gloves. These are not the original gloves it comes with, uh, but I had to remove a dead rabbit from the front of my car and I had to replace the gloves. And I personally think North American Rescue individually packaging their gloves and then charging a couple bucks for just a pair of them is kind of a ripoff. So I just got what we use at work um, and a whole box of them costs about you know, 10, $20. Down below, you've got S-rolled gauze. This is great for wound packing. Uh, and then it comes out of the middle here so you can kind of pack the wound and the rest of the gauze isn't falling on the ground or running away from you. This is 4.5 inches wide and 4.1 yards uh, long, which is plenty. In the lower part of the kit, you've got your emergency trauma dressing, your ETD. It's a four inch trauma dressing, good for wrapping wounds on the head, um, ankle, uh, wherever either doesn't need a tourniquet or a tourniquet can't be applied. This works really, really well. It also works well to secure a junctional wound if you've already packed it with gauze. Now you have to hold the gauze in and provide that pressure. The last item in this kit, I have the hyphen chest seal twin pack. This is great because you can have one for the entrance wound and one for the exit wound um, or just one and then you, you keep one. This is a vented seal, so it has vents coming out the side. And then it's got directions on the back and the front. Um, so if you're not familiar with it or if it's a layperson using it, they can kind of look and see what it's for. The center console itself is uh, just some nylon straps that secure shock cord in place. And it's got the hook on the back to secure in your kit. A couple other things I put in this kit that doesn't come with the BLS version. Um, I carry an MPA to secure somebody's airway if need be, and then some lubricant for that uh, to get it in the nostril. Now I choose to go with the BLS kit simply because I don't personally like hemostatic gauze. Uh, one, it creates a short shelf life for your kit and it's pretty expensive. So when I'm paying for something out of pocket, I don't like to be 
uh, spending money on gear that I didn't even use um, in that time period. And then second, the science on hemostatic agents, um, a lot of the unbiased studies out there have shown it to be just as effective, but not really any more effective than just packing a wound with S-rolled gauze or something of that sort. Uh, the studies that show that it has a huge amount of benefit to it are pretty biased because they're usually paid for by the company um, that's putting out the product. So I don't usually um, listen to those studies and I take them with a grain of salt. So this is the kit overall. I'd say this is a great kit to buy. It's pretty minimal, um, but it gets the job done. Uh, I carry this on my uh, first line gear, which you can see the video. I'll put a link to it at the end. Um, it's pretty cost effective as well. For a lot of this equipment from other companies, you'll be paying a little bit more in the uh, hundreds, 120 range, where you can get this uh, sub 100. So I would definitely recommend going out and picking this up. I don't think this is a great all-inclusive kit if you want a first aid kit for absolutely everything, but for bleeding uh, and respiration issues, this is a great option to go with. That's all I have for this video. I'll be releasing a new video every week, so if you want to see more of this kind of content, subscribe below, and I will see you next time.